difference. You can see the like you a can clear see the texture difference. difference. So then you can come up and touch it. So this surface right here used to be the edge of the continent, of the Colombian continent. And as you, so there's like this darker, the rock isn't actually red. Like see when you do this, the rock isn't really red, it's stained oh, red. Oh, right, yeah. The rock is all kinds of different colors from this darker colored stuff to this lighter colored stuff. This red is just iron. Okay. Leaking out. Um, so this is metamorphic rock. Okay. Okay. And this is sedimentary rock. Okay. And this chunk right here is what's called a disconformity. Okay. This is the great disconformity because there is 1.4 billion years of information gone right here. So because this is 1.7 billion years old, this is 300 million years old. So that's the oldest one over there. So, this is the oldest. Oh, billion. what's the difference between the two? This is metamorphic, this is sedimentary. Okay. So these were on two different totally, two different continents. They or? were just the age difference. Oh. So this is the metamorphic rock. See it says that they're 170 one 1.7 billion years ago. Look at this those crumbling up there. Those are all old. gonna crumble apart. Yeah. We were when we were standing here they kept a whole bunch of chunks kept crumbling. So this is this is nice rock at the surface. So the red is just a stain and it has biotite and amphibole, which is not stable at the surface, at the crust of the earth. Uh, so it releases the iron to create the hematite on the outside. So it has aluminosilicate similar to granite in its chemistry. So this has, you can tell this because it has very different types of chemistry okay. on base of what rock it is. And this was the subduction zone of the edge of the continent. So like where the rocks were going in, where the fault was. Okay. Um, and it's called the Idaho Springs Nice. And it's Idaho Springs because one of its other, like, Idaho Springs is right up mm -hmm. there. So the most, like this specific kind of rock, if you're looking for this specific kind of rock, not the age or anything, is most prominent over in Idaho Springs. Um, but it's definitely just crystalline. You can just tell from the chemistry on this one. But this rock, this rock is the fountain formation. So it's, it's sedimentary, it's very poorly sorted, but you can tell there's more like conglomerate mm -hmm. and then eat more finely um, grained. Mm -hmm. So it has pieces of the Idaho Springs. So it has like amphibi um, amphibole and biotite, but greatly, greatly reduced um, case barred quartz. Um, but it has a huge increase in hematite on this side because this rock is more red. It has a lot more iron in it than this rock. So you why doesn't I mean? this wash away when there's a big green? Well, it does. It does. It it does. does. All that you're standing on, Go just that, all bro. of this, yeah, it has washed was away. It's eroded. So all of it does erode. It's just a slower process. Mm -hmm. Let's touch it. See if we get some energy from that. Old <laughs> <rock there. laughs> okay. So, yeah. So these, this fountain formation was um, mostly like. The environment of deposition, so the environment in which it was created, was like very shallow water or like kind of air. So um, what Swampy. they call it is an alluvian, alluvial fan, which is when like, so if there's like a river coming through and then it, it breaks, like it breaks the levee, all of the, all of the sediment sediment from the levee goes gushing out and creates like a fan. Shape, yeah, right? right. So that's what these are all formed, high, high energy where these, these bigger chunks of rocks, the conglomerates, high energy. So like a flood breaks the levee and then carries all of those bigger piece rocks out into the floodplain. Right. That's what the bigger rocks are. So mixture of different energy. And then it's also called the Bajada is the specific one. And it's all across the Rockies. Um, but this is when the, this is during the time of the ancestral Rockies. So the mountains that were here before these mountains. Before the Rocky Mountains. Uh, so Before the, the Rocky Mountains. Okay. So I'm at, So see how these are tilted? Yeah. Because of the law of um, horizontality, like they all were flat okay. when they were formed. This all, see, you know how I said there was a river? Yep. They were all flat in yeah. a floodplain. But then the Rocky Mountains the came. The ancient Rocky Mountains came up and created and all this different diversity. It. And then yeah. they eroded away, creating all the layers on top of this. Oh, okay. And then these Rocky Mountains came up. Okay. And these Rocky Mountains that we know today are 
were formed between 65 and 63 million years Jeez. ago. Is that old rock stage, how old is that old one? This one is 101.7 billion years yeah. old. Yeah. Or 1,700 million. It says 1,700 million yeah. years ago and 300 million years. So, so there's definitely a big difference of uh, 1,300 years. Cambrian, what is that? No, 13 million years. There's a difference of 13 million. No. What's uh, 3 minus 17? It's 1.4 billion years are missing 13. in this unconformity. Yep, okay. Right here. Mm. Or somewhere around. Right, 14. Billion. Right. Billion years. Well, no, that says million up on the side. Well, yeah, sign. million to billion. Okay. So 1,700 to 300. Mm. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go touch this one. And okay. so at this point in time, down. during this get my energy. Yeah. three hundred um, million years. So from that form we there was no life. Okay. There was I think they he said twenty eight percent of the atmosphere was oxygen. Oh wow. At this at one point seven billion years old. Okay. So it has lots of different chemistry. Right. Very there's gaseous. Like, you can see yeah. It was a very gaseous planet. But lots and lots of oxygen. Yeah. Right? So there's no, there's not very many life forms over here yet. Yeah. At this point in time, at this 300 million years, we're starting to get the first single cell and multi cell organisms. Okay. So this right here in is water, a lot of fossils. right? In water. Yeah. It, that's mean, where it was it's formed. Depends. Like in, in water. In these, in this rock, there's like, there's in other rock formations, there's dragonflies found with a wingspan of six feet. What? Wow. Because of like that big back then? Yeah, just because of the 